Ice Cube had an album death certificate and one of the songs begins with here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's good to know uh, what people think. Uh, and it's good to catch them in spaces where they feel comfortable saying something to the credit of the person who shared. They may very well be not to presume too much, but they may be very well one of the white allies that we talk about. Uh, and we talk about, hey, what can we do behind closed doors? And one of the things that the late Dr. Francis Cress Wilson used to say is that if you're white and you want to help make a change, you've got to tell black people and other people what is said in the room when there are no other black people there. So if you're in there, you've got to do that. So this may very well be a case of that. We also have to see what the real long term consequence is going to be. It was brought up that you got to review her caseload. You've got to look at her decisions. You've got to see how race and sentencing could have been a, a very well a factor. It's got to hurt her in her pocketbook at some point. Uh, she's embarrassed. She's frustrated. She's used all of these terms, but she actually did it. Nobody takes a pill that makes them do something <laughs> that <laughs> egregious uh, and that ins that ins I'm just saying I hadn't seen a pill like that I've seen a pill that make you sleepy I've seen pills that make you honest I've, I've counseled people through situations where they had a little bit too much to drink and they said what was really on their mind because their prefrontal cortex had shut down but the reality is that's a powerful pill that's a pill called white supremacy and there must be some secret underground where that thing is being manufactured and dropped in drink with 200 million people at a time. I don't know what it is. Uh, the, the other thing that could happen is, I think about a year ago, uh, there was a country singer named Morgan Wallen. And this issue mm -hmm. happened here out of Nashville. He got caught on a security camera using the word he was drunk and he was just going in. He got caught. His The consequence for him was he had to apologize. He did an Instagram video. Uh, the record label did not fully drop him. They suspended him at the time. Uh, country radio stopped playing all of his tunes. Uh, and, and he there was a talk about giving $100,000, I think, to the NAACP. But uh, guess that, what happened? Yeah, there were like eight groups he was supposed to give money to. I think that the Evans only gave one, I think. He only gave one, right? So, so we see this, but look at the other side. This wouldn't have hurt him because because he was punished, his fans responded. So his digital album sales went up 1,220% and his album sales went 3, 327% in an increase just because of the incident. He had to get online and tell his fans to stop defending him. So th this tells you about when we talk about that term, we use that term, your vibe attracts your tribe. What do you do with the fallout that comes from other people who say, I'm just going to make sure when I'm put before I put on my robe that I'm going to check my squad to make sure nobody's recording this before I say what I truly say before I go feel before I go into that classroom. It's time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches. Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own. A black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. The crowd rolling was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?